or actually become a better leader um, either with the community with just your family members like you can actually have awareness of what you're doing so some of the skills I've learned here thus far um, are definitely how to be a leader because for so long it was so hard for me to speak up and voice my opinion and I've been in this org for about a year and now I have a position and now everything is really cool and I'm able to express like, hey, I think this is a concern, or hey, this, or... It's really important because not only are you going to use that within your professors and faculty, but also in the workplace, also with family, also just standing up for yourself because I feel like so many people don't do that and it's so important. One of like the first things that I learned was like how to have a voice, right? So. I feel like it's very hard when you come into a space, especially a space that's like so like invested in being like you know conscious. It's, it's like how do you how do you voice your opinions when you're you know not sure of your footing? Like you know it's like it, it can be a very intimidating space. So it's like just finding your voice and saying what you need to say, and then being able to talk to others, especially when they're like in different positions of like power. So like how to talk to professors, how to talk to faculty members, how to talk to administration. Um, how to problem solve without like, you know, killing each other. Because um, like any other organization, Mecha, like members of Mecha sometimes have different like different opinions, so like how to how to like, you know, meet each other in the middle when when it, we're able to and stuff like that. Um how to organize like how to plan events, right? So the paperwork that needs to be done, how to how to like contact people and ask them to be part of your events, how to task delegate, like Knowing that you can't do everything on your own, you need the help of others, and it's okay. You know? Some of the challenges I have faced in Metro um, kind of refer to just st um, standing up for yourself. Um, I know with the election kind of going on, we often are in fear of everything, you know. There are people who are undocumented, there are people who have undocumented friends and family. And so it's hard for us to, you know, band together, but we do it and we organize. And that's a challenge we face within the community just because sometimes it's us against the world, it feels like. 